this corn, uh, we're in the fall season. We're nearing the harvest. Uh, this corn was planted about May 15th, and it's now uh, in October, so we're near the end. And I'm six foot four, and I can reach about eight feet, so the top of that corn is taller than I could reach, even. And the ear has, oh, you like corn. The ears has all these kernels. <laughs> This corn. Now, there's one thing I have to tell you. This is not sweet corn. Because sweet corn is special when you put butter on it. This is field corn. And it gets used for livestock feed and for human products too. But it is not corn on the cob. So that's an ear of corn. And every stalk has one. And the, the combine comes through and harvests the corn and takes the kernels off, off of the cob. And the kernels are about me. In between, uh, these little plants that you see in between, those are not corn. Those are a cover crop that's called cereal rye. And it, these little seeds were dropped from an airplane 17 days ago onto this field. And they fell through the corn and landed on the ground. And then it rained and they started growing. And they're growing already after 17 days. So in weeks, we're going to harvest all this corn out of here. And then the crop will all be gone. But the cereal rye, the cover crop, will stay there, and that will cover and protect the field all winter from uh, wind and water erosion, and that'll be conservation. We switch crops from year to year from one field to the other. This field was soybeans uh, this year, then it'll be corn next year, and vice versa for the other fields. It's called a corn soybean rotation, and the crops kind of complement each other. This field, which has soybeans in it, is actually going to leave some nutrients in the field that are valuable for the next year's corn crop. Cover crops uh, are good because when they grow, when we saw those little cereal rye growing, they are actually capturing some food for the next year's crop. It's um, um, nutrients for the next year's crop. And they hold it in the soil all winter long. And then in the next spring when you plant, those cover crops die away, but yet those nutrients are still there and they're available for the next year's plant. Well, this is a corn field. However, we've got a grass waterway right through the middle of this field. Well, you see, when it rains a lot, sometimes there's just too much water for the field, and it has to go somewhere, and water is going to go downhill wherever the lowest spot is. So before we built this waterway, when it would rain, it would make a deep going in here, and it would wash away the soil, and that was not a good thing for a conservation person. This is our new waterway, and when it rains a lot, the water will come off the high part, and it'll come right in here, and it'll look just like a river, and it'll come through here in heavy rain, so the waterway keeps the soil where it needs to be, and it also makes it easier to manage the field. I love the challenge of being a farmer, trying new things, and trying to do things better than you did the year before. And a couple of those things that we talked about in our visit today were those cover crops and these waterways. Uh, we've put a bunch of these in in the past years and they're ways to preserve this soil. Uh, our Midwest has some of the finest soil in the world. There's only a few areas of the world uh, that have that rich and dark soil. And so we want to keep that for the coming generations so they can be farmers too. Absolutely.